Making pesto pasta with a store-bought jar is the easiest thing you can come up with to claim that you can cook Italian. You need just two ingredients, spaghetti and a jar of pesto, preferably an Italian brand. If you have pine nuts, some fresh basil leaves, and some parmigiano, you can also finish the dish like a master chef. How do we make this dish? Once the water is boiling hot, add salt and a bit of olive oil. Break the spaghetti in no, half. You can no. fit better in the pot if they are shorter. Great way to solve the problem. Keep mixing to make sure it does not stick. On the side pan, heat up the pesto. Now the pasta is nice and super soft. Let's drain it and give it a rinse to remove that gluey stuff. No, if this is how you cook pesto pasta, unlearn all of this. Let's start again from the boiling water. Forget the oil and add just a spoonful of salt. You don't put the spaghetti in the water if the water don't boil in very strong way. Drop the spaghetti without breaking them. Gently push them down under the water as they soften. You don't need to put oil and you don't need to stir the spaghetti for a long, long time. You have to do this only one time, now. Indeed, you don't need to keep stirring. For good Italian pasta won't stick. How long do I have to stay the pasta in the water? Cottura, nine minutes. Al dente, seven. If you want to eat the spaghetti like Italian, you have to cook the spaghetti al dente. If you prefer, you could use the trofia instead of spaghetti, which is the popular choice in Genoa, the birthplace of pesto, or your favorite shape of pasta. The best pasta to enhance the pesto flavor is the one with a rough texture and is irregular in shape. Ready? The most important rule of cooking with pesto. Don't cook it. <coughs> Basil hates heat. Mm, bueno. Just a few minutes before the pasta is al dente, warm up the pesto directly in the plate with a ladle of pasta water. Drain the pasta directly on the plate and turn. And a little more water because I look that my dish is very dry. Okay, it's ready. Però non è molto invitante, non mi viene voglia di mangiarlo questo piatto. Cosa potete fare per renderlo più bello? Semplicissimo. Qualche pomodorino, qualche pinolo, qualche foglionina di basilico fresco, tagliata rigorosamente con le mani, infine scagliette di parmigiano. Beh, mi viene più voglia di mangiarlo. C'è un'altra cosa che potreste fare. Questa è una cialda a forma di corallo. Se volete sapere come si fa, guardate il prossimo video. Ecco qui, spettacolo! Subscribe and smash the bell button to receive all our updates. See you in the next episodes of Tony's Home, where every day is a sunny day!